<laughs> hey there, we are back again as our journey continues. 100 Days to Brave, our daily devotional by Annie F. Downs that we are following through as we grow into becoming our most brave selves, gaining more confidence, gaining more courage, as we just continue to develop in the great, wonderful people that God has designed us to be. It's a very good thing. So as you know, or maybe you don't know, I am doing this, I'm reading this book, Doing the Journey, 100 Days to Brave, reading the daily devotionals by our author, Annie F. Downs. And it's a book that she created that um, uses some honesty and relatable humor that's helping us to embrace the path and the plan that God has for us. I obtained the book through Amazon. I ordered it actually last year sometime, only read six days of it, stopped before I actually read today seven. Um, that was last year in April. And so I committed this year to finish the book, do this 100 day journey. And a way that I'm holding myself accountable is by doing it here on YouTube sharing the journey with others so you guys too can go on the journey with me. So here we are today. We are at day number 22 in the third part of the book with Brave Enough to Believe God. We've already gone through the first part, which was Brave Enough to Start. You were always meant to be brave. The second piece that we got through, which took us through day 14, was Brave Enough to Be You. The planet just really needs you to be you, okay? And now we're into the third portion, which again is brave enough to believe God. He is who he says he is, I promise. So let's get into day number 22. You are who God says you are. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, Clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. That's Colossians, the third chapter, and verse 12. My friend Jenna got a job at a bank in Nashville. She was so excited doing her training when her trainer told her she would be learning how to identify counterfeit money. In her sassy business suit, Jenna went to work that day expecting to see and feel every different kind of counterfeit currency the FBI knew about. She loves that kind of stuff, like those shows on television dedicated to busting people breaking the law. So when Jenna arrived that morning, she had a definite bounce in her step, ready to start on the next undercover show. Instead, the trainers handed her and her fellow new employees stacks of real money and ask each person to count a stack over and over and then again and over again. I don't know if this is totally accurate, but Jenna swears she counted the 50 $1 bills more than 100 times. Frustrated, one of the other new workers asked their trainer, why are we doing this? The trainer responded, now you know how real money feels. You have practiced so much with the real thing that you will easily notice the fakes. When you spend time with God and immerse yourself in the truth of his word, you will easily notice the lies and the things you hear in your head that aren't really you. You will hear the truth of who God says you are much more clearly, like how you are dearly loved. All over his word, you will find that God says, you are accepted. You are a friend of God, his heir. You are completely forgiven. You are secure. Romans 8 says that you are free from condemnation. You are significant. Ephesians 2 says that you are God's workmanship. You are God's workmanship, seated with Jesus in the heavenly realms. All over his word, 
God says that you are strong and important on this planet. You are who God says you are, and you can be brave. All right. You are who God says you are. Our point that's brought out in today's lesson on day 22. When you spend time with God and immerse yourself in the truth of his word, you will easily notice the lies and the things you hear in your head that aren't really you. So that's a good thing. We know God, and when those thoughts come in that are contrary to what he says about us, we rebuke those thoughts. We do not allow them to set up place or to take residence in our thoughts, in our minds, in our spirits at all. Mm -hmm. Because it just told us over here, his word tells us that we are accepted, that we are a friend of God, that we are completely forgiven, that we are secure, we are free from condemnation, we are significant, we are strong, and we are important on this planet. Okay, our call to action today for Be Brave. You're going to need a pencil to write this down. And again, I look at the lessons once I sit down to read them, so it's all new to me. But I just see right here, it's got some blank spaces for us to write in some stuff. So get ready to write. Our call to action today says, finish this sentence. I am significant because blank. And here are three ways that impacts my life, blank. Again, I am significant because blank, fill in the blank why you're significant. And here are three ways that impacts my life. Okay. I am significant because I have to come up with that answer and Three ways that impacts my life. I'll come up with that. When I get my answer, I will 100% post it in the comment section. Ask you guys to do the same if you choose to share. Again, we're on this journey together. If you choose to share, leave it in the comment section. <laughs> or just leave a comment. Again, I love when um, I get comments and able to exchange a little bit with the folks or, again, just simply like the comment to let you guys know that I see um, a comment or something just helps me know that you are watching. I, of course, I see the views and all that, the numbers for who's, who's viewing, but a comment, a like, or something just um, lets me know, again, that you guys are watching, you are on the journey, too, and I'm getting something out of it, right? So, there we go. Day 22 in the books. You are who God says you are. I am significant because, and here are three ways that impacts my life. All right. Until tomorrow, folks, continue on your journey to brave, and we will be back tomorrow. Have a great day.